Hello and welcome back to the Hollywood Actors Guide to Surviving the Film and Television Industry. This is your host, Living the Dream, here in Los Angeles, California. Speaking of dreams, are you dreaming or just scheming to have this acting career? A film is nothing but a dream sequence, moments and images brought to life. Do you think that it's a mundane life that's there on the page waiting for the actor? <laughs> no. It's the terror and the beauty that comes from a life that was once mundane. And you, the actor, are now tasked to bring a heightened life to it. There's this great quote by Mehet Marat Ilden. And he said, Everything you do gives a clue about yourself. The clothes you wear, the books you read, the cars you drive, the songs you listen to, the streets you love. Everything you do is you. Let's think about that. Actors are extraordinary creatures. On one hand, we can crawl into the skin of any human and truly become them, but it doesn't mean the skin will be a good fit. Think of your favorite actor or actress. No matter how amazing they are and how much you love them, I bet you can also think of a dozen roles that would be downright weird to see them attempt. Anthony Hopkins brings so much complexity and mystery to every character he plays, but it is so hard for me to imagine him playing a stupid character. Even watching him in The Father, where you could tell that the, the, the oh gosh, I can't remember the character's name. I don't even know if they named the character, but he, he was a really smart guy. And he's dealing with dementia and memory loss, but he's never stupid. In fact, I think the movie is so compelling because here you have this man who's brilliant. You could tell he's a very intelligent guy. And just like us as the audience, we're trying to figure out what the heck is happening in that movie with him. There is just way too much going on behind his eyes at all times for him to ever be believable, I think, as 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 dumb and this is not a knock on his acting abilities because he is extraordinary but it is a reminder of why you may not book every role you walk in for and this is a great thing if you're awesome at being the gentle lovable dummy anthony hopkins is one less actor you need to worry about being your competition <laughs> i was having trouble with my personal brand until i asked a friend of mine Easy, he said. You're the girl next door with a deep, dark secret. You hit the nail on the head. That's exactly the rules I book because those are the ones I am right for. It is wildly difficult for me to play a character who has had a great life and a smiley disposition. Ironically, this is how I come across to most strangers, which is why I'm the girl next door. But once you know me, my dark side has a hard time hiding in life and in my work, hence the deep, dark secret. I did a play in Shreveport, Louisiana called Member of the Wedding. I was playing the bride. It was a smallish role, but Margaret Avery was the lead. Avery is best known for her performance as Shug Avery in the color purple for which she was nominated for an Academy Award. So, of course, I wanted the chance to be on stage with her. The director and I had a difficult time, however. I kept layering my character with all of these deep thoughts and darker subtext than the role called for. They needed me to be a bright, cheery, carefree lady, and it was the hardest role I think I've ever done so far. Everything I said, it felt, it felt fake because I have a hard time believing there exists anyone out there like that. I go right to looking for what makes us hurt, complex creatures. And so you, dear actor, what do you go straight to in your personal life? What is your personal perspective and your personal point of view? If you're struggling with a scene or a monologue or whatever, it could be that you're not, it's not only that you're, you're lacking what the character's point of view is, it may just be that you don't even know what your own point of view on life is is you haven't thought as deep and haven't explored your work as much as I have figuring out why am I fighting with this director all the time with this character 
let's figure out why instead of saying the director's wrong or I'm just wrong or I'm a bad actor or they're a bad director. No, there is a reason. I was miscast. There were a lot of other actresses that should have played that role. I somehow booked it. Who knows how or why or what, you know, whatever. You know, I probably looked the role, the right for the role, right? If you look the part, that's half the battle. But when it came down to doing the work, I struggled. I struggled with that character. I would do so much better now, but it still, I don't think would be the right fit. So are you struggling with what your right fit is? We are still sponsored by We Audition. Go on there, bring on a scene and say, with your people you're working with, you know, strangers can have great perspective. You know, like, listen, I'm I'm here not not to, you know, make friends. Like, I want I want the whole cold, hard facts. Like, do you see me playing this role? If you do, what is it about me that you like? If you don't see me playing this role, what is it about me that's keeping me from really getting in touch with this character? And through you working with a scene, you might be able to discover whole bunch of layers to what you can and cannot bring to roles, which is going to really show you what your headshot should be like, what your reel should cater to, what type of roles you should be submitted to, what kind of haircut you should have, all of those types of things. That's been on my mind so much lately. Is my haircut fitting the types of roles that I should be booking? And what kind of haircut should I get? I I know it sounds so freaking crazy, but I feel like maybe I should jump on We Audition and just, you know, like back in the day when you had those AOL roulette, like you just jump into random chat rooms, just start hitting like random actors and just being like, can you watch my reel? And can we talk for a few minutes? And can you tell me what you think about what my casting is now? I think I'm going to do that. That sounds like a fun thing I'm going to do tonight on weaudition.com. I'm using my own promo code because I'm cool like that. Hag25, H-A-G-2-5, because I save 25%. I only pay $7 and what is it? 50 cents a month, $7.50 a month to go on and talk to actors anytime I need to talk to actors to run lines, to get off book, to tape auditions, whatever I need. Hag25, use that promo code and get to know yourself a little bit. Who are you? All right. Thank you so much for listening. That's all I have for you this week. Break a leg out there and remember you are not alone. Bye.